He just handed the jury reasonable doubt on a silver platter. A side issue. Your whole theory of the crime was a stretch to begin with. Maybe a stretch to prove, but that's what happened. Sometimes justice is only about what you can prove. Then let's change the theory of the crime to something we can prove. Dennis conspired with Wendy to sell the antique overseas and avoid estate taxes. When Geraldine and Colin found out they were using their address, Wendy killed them. Except, by definition, you can't conspire with a psychotic person. There's no meeting of the minds. Except Dennis and his lawyer just spent the better part of the day arguing that Wendy was rational. Fine. Then let's steer into the skit. You want to paint Wendy Teal as a conspirator and a cold-blooded killer when you have evidence to the contrary? This isn't a con. You're running on a defendant in some back room. You're in open court in front of a jury. Either Wendy was a victim of her brother's manipulation or she was a tax-cheating co-conspirator, not both. I am not going to apologize for doing what needs to be done to put this monster behind bars. A trial is a truth-seeking process not a vehicle for you to obscure the truth to win a conviction at all costs. You have a greater duty than that.